India has had a long tradition of filmmaking. It makes twice as many films per year as Hollywood does. Everybody talks about Bollywood, but there's the Telugu industry and there's the Gujarati industry. So there are many industries in India. They produce lots and lots of films. A uh, few of them make money, lots of them don't. Uh, but India has certainly been successful in uh, placing its imprint on content largely through a market mechanism. There is a National Film Development Corporation in India that provides some incentive and, and so on. But by and large, it's, it's private sector driven. Uh, China is completely the opposite um, in terms of content. Content, uh, since the establishment of the People's Republic, is being seen as an instrument of propaganda, to, to put it bluntly. Uh, and I think we're all familiar with the sort of cultural revolution type content, the red detachment of women and all this sort of stuff. Well, of course, China's a far more sophisticated place now, but uh, the final arbiter of what goes out to the public is not whether or not it'll make money, as in India, subject to obvious uh, uh, norms of public taste and acceptability, but whether it is in conformity with the current political line. Uh, so that's, that's one element. The second is that the Chinese have very consciously decided to uh, foster uh, filmmaking and production as part of the overall grand plan. So uh, China's been, if you look at many other areas, it's been very successful. It's used uh, innovation and subsidies and the size of its market to attract technology and, and it, it's, it's uh, as we all know, very successful. In the case of media uh, and film, it has been much less successful.